The 2020 Democratic field, the largest in modern history, with 20 candidates running so far. And now a new poll finds former Vice President Joe Biden with a slight lead among the contenders. But about a third of Democratic voters still not sure who they will vote for. Former Maryland Congressman John Delaney was the first Democrat to announce his run back in 2017, and he joins us now. Thank you so much for being here, Congressman. Thanks for having me. Now, my question for you is when I read your platform, you come off to me as a moderate Democrat. Are you worried that there's no room for a moderate Democrat right now in this field? No, I think if we want to beat Donald Trump in 2020, we absolutely, by any measure, need a moderate candidate to do it. Someone who can win the center, because I think the 2020 race is going to be fought in the center. Someone who is actually putting forth policies, new ideas that make sense and can get done. Someone who's not spending all their time talking about the president, but actually talking about how we bring this terribly divided nation back together. And someone like myself, who was a successful entrepreneur and business person before I ran for uh, Congress, which is, I think, what we're going to need to go against President Trump in, in light of how the economy is doing. Yeah, but what about the Democratic voting base? Because you're someone who is not, as far as I can see, supporting Medicare for all or the Green New Deal. You're coming up with your own alternate proposals, yes. for example, with uh, health care, something that allows for private insurance to still have a place in the marketplace. Sounds like terribly reasonable. But what about that voting base? Are they hungry for the AOC? Bernie Sanders style socialism is, is great you know uh, the Green New Deal is fabulous let's let people who are in prison right now uh, terrorists in prison have voting rights is that where the voting base is no I don't believe where the vote that's where the voting base is that's where maybe Twitter is and that's where maybe some of the activists in the Democratic Party are but I think most Democrats are actually for solving problems trying to bring the country together putting forth ideas that make sense. I think most Democrats like myself think these half-baked notions around socialism is really not what this country is about and is not the way to move us forward. So say you have an independent voter out there, someone who doesn't necessarily align with the Republican Party. Do you think that you would be able to appeal to a limited government, independent who cares about the debt, who cares about these issues and feels that both parties have betrayed that person and have not fulfilled what they've been looking for? Absolutely, because one of the key aspects of my campaign is to be honest with people. And I think uh, elected officials on both sides of the aisle have been terribly dishonest with the American people, which is why independence, for example, in many ways is the fastest growing part of the political spectrum, because they're tired of elected officials who put the interests of their party ahead of the citizens mm. and ahead of making real progress. We've paid a huge price in this country for decades because we haven't gotten basic things done. We haven't solved problems. We haven't prepared our country for the future. We've been too busy engaging in hyper-partisan mm -hmm. warfare. Honest question for you, though, hoping for an honest answer. Are you concerned about the future of the party when you look at the mainstream of that Democratic Party now advocating actively for socialism and things like a Green New Deal and massive government overtake of the health care industry? Does that worry you as someone who is more of a moderate and recognizes that you got to appeal to the center if you want to win a general election. It, it doesn't worry me across the long term. It worries me now because I think a lot of those issues are distracting. Mm -hmm. Like talking about changing the Electoral College is right. just a waste of time, for example. But across the long term, I believe the Democratic Party will get back to its roots, which is yeah. fighting for working families. Well, Congressman, thank you so much for joining me today. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks so much.